so the aim of the experiment is to verify the law of force polygon then two forces acting on the system then we have to use this method of verification and it is based on the graphical method so here in this experiment one can see all the forces suppose f1 f2 f3 f4 and f5 all the forces are represented as lines and which closes the polygon with the magnitude and directions so we have arrangement for this experiment one can see there are this are pulley 1 2 and 3 forces the loads are hanging here with the help of our hangers 1 2 3 4 5 so in this way five forces are there this one first one t1 then the uh, this one t2 this is the 3t means uh, uh, tensions means forces uh, we can say f3 and f4 f5 as it is based on the graphical method so we have to point this or uh, we have to represent these lines on the this sheet okay so how to there are two reference points this is the a and uh, this is the b and uh, direction suppose the uh, no no uh, so directions we are taking we are pointing out likewise and the magnitude will be the load of this similarly here so it is a vertically downwards acting this f3 is also acting downwards and uh, to point out this some points we are taking so that uh, we can draw a line and the last one force so with the help of five forces the force system creates and uh, again the five forces this is uh, f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 this creates the force polygon means uh, this forces we can represent as force polygon we have to plot the graph means uh, the directions we have to show so we are marking the points some points we are taking along the f1 then uh, we will draw a line like that here without disturbing the string the row similarly from here we have to point some uh, dots then uh, we have to represent f2 similarly here taking some point here taking some point here taking point some here and uh, which will be the line which represents the force 
seen. Similarly, we can take the points on this uh, line along the thread which shows the directions like uh, this one, like this one. And with the help of this, then uh, we will uh, draw the space diagram, means we will convert these uh, two uh, forces acting at the two points, reference, reference points A and B, which will, we will merge and uh, show it as the space diagram. So as uh, we have taken F1 is equal to 300 gram, F2 284 gram, F3 100 gram, F4 100 gram, F5 150 gram. Now we have to convert it into the distance. So scaling we have to take. So 50 gram is equal to 1 centimeter. Suppose we are taking here. So as uh, we have projected the points on this sheet, so with the help of this, we can get, this is the F1, F1 with 6 cm, F2 with uh, 5.68 and uh, angle between this, uh, the, uh, there are two points A and uh, B. These are the two reference points. So F1 with this uh, horizontal and uh, uh, similarly F3, F4, F5 can be represented with the angles made. And uh, we can label this uh, diagram, we can give the name four system diagram. And with the help of these two points A and B, we can create the space diagram. Just uh, parallel F1, parallel to this, and uh, F2, F3, we can see here, so in this way, like uh, F5, so it is parallel to this F5, so in this way we get a space diagram. The so with the help of this space diagram, now we will get the resultant of both the reference system, reference points and we will check and we will check whether both the resultants like uh, R A and uh, R B or equal or not. It should be equal. Okay. So with the help of spread diagram F1 we have taken here we have represented just uh, the point suppose uh, it is shifted here F1 and uh, regarding F2, this is the F2, so from this is the, the F1 and uh, in the vector form uh, and uh, this is the F2, the tail of the F2, so F1, F2 and uh, we have to close it so that we can get the resultant and the direction should be opposite like a F1 direction is likewise F2 uh, you can say the anti-clockwise so suppose uh, we are giving the name of resultant of this reference point RA so the direction should be like that similarly with the help of F3 at the reference point B this is the F3 and uh, we can see this is the F4 F4 is represented means here 
it is represented in vector form tail to head and finally we get we have to close it and uh, that side which closes it is known as the resultant so here the r a and r b now we have to measure so whether this distance and this distance both are equal or not so by observation it is uh, uh, clear that both are not same also the orientation of the resultant from this axis it is uh, theta 1 190 degree here suppose theta 2 we are taking one and it is a uh, 178 degree 178 degree measured to the uh, protector and now is the time if r a r b both the resultants are not equal or the orientations are not equal so what is the difference how much difference is there in percentage wise okay so r a we have measured measured 3.2 cm r b 3.9 cm theta 1 190 degree theta 2 178 degree so now percentage error in magnitude so modulus of r a minus r b divided by r a and uh, there is a multiplication of 100 so in this way by putting the values of r a and r b we get 21% error now percentage error in direction so it is modulus of theta 1 minus theta 2 multiplied by 100 and divided by theta 1 so we get 6.74% Uh, error in direction so in this way we have verified the force of polygon we got the values of two reference point means uh, the resultant of two reference points and uh, uh, we measured the directions we measured the magnitude and uh, there is a difference that is verified thank you